Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the starting 11 show. Aston Villa versus Everton. Let's hope Everton can finally put some points on the board in the Premier League this season. Let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford off the back of two clean sheets for England. Hopefully that gives him a little bit of a boost after conceding 10 games, 10 goals, sorry, in the first three games. Um, yeah, <laughs> just hope he gets another clean sheet. No matter, it doesn't matter whether anything else happens, really. If you can get another clean sheet, that would be a really, really good start. Obviously, he's in goal. Uh, right back, obviously, this has been a major issue for Everton. Uh, not just this season, but last season. And we saw Seamus Coleman go off injured last week for Ireland. The manager said he was touch and go, which probably means he's available. But I'm going to go for James Garner. I think with the options we've got in midfield at the moment, uh, I don't think there's any real need to change it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is good to have someone like James Garner available on the bench to come on to make a change in midfield because we saw how important that was or should have been against... Bournemouth, but I just think that he's played right back before. He played an entire tournament for England under twenty ones and won the Euros. So I, I, I think he can play the position. It's not like he has to get up and down all game because that's not how Sean Dyche sets his team up. Um, so for me, certainly in a away game, I would look at him as playing right back. We've got Mangala now available as well, who can be someone who can who can play or come off the bench at, at midfield. So I think we need to. Start looking at that position. No, Patterson could be availed Tuesday. But I just think to myself, for this game, why not just put Garner in there? Good opportunity for him to get some match fitness as well. So I'm going for James Garner. On the other side, Michalenko. He's played a couple of games for Ukraine in the break. Didn't really look sharp before the break and, and made some really poor decisions against Bournemouth. And again, that's that sharpness element. That's not being really fit enough, making poor decisions. That's with any player when they're not fit, that's the first thing you look for. The signs of the the fitness or lack of fitness is, is mental, mentally, what are they doing? And I thought he made some poor decisions against Bournemouth. So hopefully those two games for Ukraine will have... Um, Help them maybe get that little bit more match sharpness so he starts at left back. The centre backs, James Tarkowski's had a couple of weeks break. He wasn't looking again fit and sharp. Hopefully the the rest has done him some good if it is it has been something nagging him. So he he starts. And alongside him, I'm going with I'm going with Jake O'Brien. Just because and I'm not I'm not picking on Michael Keane as such. I just think there has to be a change. Now, the manager might look at it and go, well, Jared Brantway could be back for the game against Southampton or certainly the game against Leicester and there's no point making a change to make another change. But I just feel like 10 goals in, two, in three games, something has to give. And he hasn't been making any major mistakes. Keane and obviously scored in the last game, but we just can see goals when he's in the team. We We just do. So, O'Brien, okay, wasn't a great international break for him. Came on against England. You know, maybe he's not starting for Ireland because the players who are who, who are starting are playing week in and week out and he's still not. Um, that's just the way it is. But do, do I know or think he's better than Keane? I, I don't. But I just think there has to be a change. A team can't concede 10 goals in three games and just be left alone. So... I'm going to make that change there. In midfield, uh, it's uh, a Jason Gay, who again, his numbers, the numbers don't lie in terms of um, what he does on the pitch. Still a really important player. Now that might change with the signing of Mangala for the season. That might be somewhat somewhere we look at um, to freshen it up. For some games, but for this game, he certainly he certainly starts. And alongside him, Tim Irabunum, obviously going back to his old club, will be eager to impress. Um, has been really good so far. Thought he was really good against Bournemouth. Again, tiredness, not having the options. Well, I mean, we did have the options that day. We could have brought James Garner on, but the manager left him on, and you could see, you can see the last 10, 15 minutes, he just wasn't up to the level of sharpness. But that's because of all the effort he put in before that. And he hasn't got too many Premier League games under his belt. So, again, as I said, when Gala's on the bench, he could come on, 
But those two starting, hopefully Tim has a big game um, and does well for us because obviously with Onana starting for them, it is sort of like the, the tail of the two players swapping clubs. So hopefully a big game from him. And ahead of those two, uh, I'm going to continue with Dwight McNeil because I don't think he did a lot wrong against Bournemouth. I don't think he was amazing, got an assist, um, but I don't think he did a lot wrong. And his, his, his assist for Dominic Carvalho was actually something we don't see a lot. He's a player like in the number 10 role just sliding our centre forward through. So, yeah, in the next couple of weeks, there might be changes as we get players back from back. But for me, for now, he, he can stay there. On the right-hand side, Jack Harrison, again, someone I thought did okay against Bournemouth um, up to a certain point. We don't have lots of options. Um Lindstrom went away with uh, Denmark and didn't see any any action at all. So he's obviously not quite ready yet. Uh, he might be another one who we see on Tuesday night, getting another opportunity to to start. So Jack Harrison on the right and on the left, it's uh, on die will continue for me. I know I've heard you know a couple of people say, "Well, it's an away game. Can you trust them?" I I couldn't care less. Football is about attacking and being positive, and I've not seen someone as positive as him on the ball for a while. He really did have a, a great game against Bournemouth and he, he shouldn't have been on the losing side. He was just so instrumental in the dominance we had and saying in that second half, he was positive. And I think I said this before the Tottenham game, you want someone in these games who can take the pressure off, who can grab hold of the ball, who who um, runs at people, commits people, wins fouls, obviously with, with decent at set pieces. So he has to start on the left-hand side for me. Um, and I think that has to be something that just continues all season. And maybe as we go on, if we progress as a team, he becomes a number 10 and maybe Dwight McNeil goes back. But from what I saw in the, in the game against Bournemouth, he has to start every single game for me. And up front, it's Dominic Carvin loon um, Again, him going off against Bournemouth. I know the manager says they have to look after him, but... What, for an extra five or six minutes to see you through a game? He got his goal uh, against Bournemouth and it was a well-taken finish, um, an assist as well. And hopefully that's him now. Hopefully that's, that's him and he starts going again. Scored against Villa last year in the uh, in the Carabao Cup. So hopefully he does it again. And with and die playing, maybe that's a player a little bit closer to him. And McNeil is, uh, as I said, a number 10 who can slide someone in rather than the huff and puff aggression of someone like the Corey. Uh, but let's see, let's see. Let's see what happens. And it's not just about the starting 11, isn't it? It's about the subs and it's about using the subs. So that'll be an interesting part of this week as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you go for that team? Would you go for another team? Let me know who would you would go for. Uh, if you haven't checked out the match preview, Jack and myself sat down to talk about this one. The link is in the description. Give this video a like. And if you want more videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premiere. Link is in the description for that one as well. QR codes come up on the screen. See you later.